So Pareto chart, it's a very famous tool in the among seven QC tools. It's a Pareto Italian economist who found out 80% of money in the world is lying with the 20% of people. That same concept was migrated into quality by Isikawa. That means 80% of problem contributed by only 20% of causes. So you can see one example of Pareto chart. The left side column denotes the frequency and the right side column denotes the percentage of contribution. You can see only six defects among total monthly defects that itself contributes to 65 percentage of total rejections. So first one blowhole that is 150 numbers frequency that alone is contributing to 19 percentage of defect. So totally it helps to identify the top contributor. So we can focus on top contributor. We can get a faster result and it, is, it gives a good graphical representation to make everyone understand. And only only limitation it will only give a uh, top contributor. It's not a problem solving tool. It's a strategy.